Hello everyone, welcome to Science World. This channel has been created uh, to include discussions on various science topics which will mainly include biotechnology topics. We will be uploading various uh, topics uh, and various videos on a variety of topics. Uh, we hope you like them and find them beneficial. So today we are going to deliver our first video. So today our topic of discussion will be the growth kinetics of cell in cell culture. So, uh, growth of cell is actually, uh, basically you can say it is an orderly increase of the components of cell. So, in a cell culture, uh, we find a variety of cells which are being cultured, uh, whether it may be a bacterial cell or the cells from human bodies or any other tissues, which is not actually the primary concern of this topic. We are going to only discuss about how cells proliferate at the different stages of their growth. So, the various stages of uh, multiplication includes uh, when you first inoculate the cell, uh, into the culture media, uh, the cells actually start to adapt themselves into the new environment. So as a result of that, the beginning of the cell multiplication is actually a bit slow. So after that, uh, after they have uh, ad uh, adapted themselves uh, with the environment, what you find is the cells proliferate in an exponential way. That is the growth is high, rate is high. And finally a stage is reached where they reach the saturation level where they have the maximum number of cells in the particular culture plate and then they finally start to die out which is also called a decline phase. So basically if we divide the uh, stages of development uh, we will find four growth stages. The first one is the lag phase. The second one includes the log phase or also called the exponential phase as the growth here is exponential. The third one uh, is the situation phase. That is, the growth here stops and the number of cells are saturated, have reached the situation level. And the last one is the death phase or the decline phase. So, now let's first discuss on what is the log phase. So, Cells when they are first inoculated into the cell culture, it is an in vitro technique obviously. So when they are first inoculated, uh, they have to adapt themselves to the new environment. As a result, the cell growth does not uh, really take place in terms of the multiplication in number. What happens is the cells will first adapt themselves uh, with the new environment and then the growth will take place in terms of the expansion of their size but not in the number. So uh, when you provide the solid media, they will take up the solid media and will only grow in size and this phase generally lasts for about 24 to 48 hours. Now uh, this lag phase has, has different rates so this will depend on a few factors. Suppose the inoculum that we are taking is very small. So if the inoculum is small the rate of lag phase will also be low. The second factor is uh, the conditions of temperature and also of the media. If the media are favorable the temperature is favorable, then the uh, multiplication rate will be high. The unfavorable condition will result in the slowing down of the multiplication rate. The third one is actually the uh, age of the culture. If the culture is young, the rate will also increase uh, depending on that proportionately. Now, the second phase is the log phase or the exponential phase. So in this phase, the regular and maximum multiplication of cells take place. Here, the number of increase in cell number is exponential. It is not directly proportional uh, just in a linear way. It is proportional in an exponential way. So, the medium here is rich in nutrients as the medium is new and the cultures are beginning to grow. So, the nutrient media will contain a huge amount of nutrients more than sufficient for the cells to grow. The population doubling time, that is the time it takes to double the number of population is between 24 to 48 hours in general. This may vary depending on the culture but general average time is 24 to 48 hours. Now the multiplication rate here is exponential. So it can be mathematically uh, depicted as the multiplication rate is noted by r, small r, which is equal to uh, the number of divisions per unit time. So we can write the number of uh, 
divisions per unit time. This will be the rate at which the cells grow in the culture. Now, the population doubling time is given by the inverse of this. This is the reciprocal of this small r, that is the multiplication rate. So here, the population doubling time, which is uh, in short written as PDT, the population doubling time uh, is given by 1 by r, the reciprocal of the multiplication rate. This 1 by r can be written as the time elapsed or the time simply, whichever you want, by the number of cell generations. So this is the population doubling time. And here, the population doubling time, as I said, will be between 24 to 48 hours. So this is all about the log phase where the cell growth is maximum. As the nutrients are sufficient, there is enough space for growth, so there is no contact inhibition. Contact inhibition means when cells come into contact with one another due to lack of space generally, what happens is they cannot grow uh, in the general way. As a result, inhibition of growth takes place. It is a stoppage of growth, so the cells start to either stop their growth or begin to die. So in this phase, as there is enough space in the culture media uh, for the cells to grow, less number of cells, uh, as a result, there will be no contact inhibition and the growth will be maximum. Now, let's move on to the third stage that is the station saturation or the stationary phase. So for this, we need to draw something. Okay, now suppose this is our culture plate. So first we take the inoculum, we do it by stick plate method or uh, by what, pour plate method or spread plate method, whatever. Suppose we have got our culture here. So during the multiplication phase, there is a second phase, there is a log phase or exponential phase. This will grow in large amount. As a result, what will happen? They will reach a stage where they cover the entire plate. No space is left for more growth of the cells. Now this is the time where they reach the level of saturation. That is, they have no more space to grow in the culture. Now this phase is actually beneficial for scientists in a way that you can actually calculate the total number of cells in the cell that can make the maximum grown in this cell culture. Because at this stage the cells are growing and have stopped at the maximum level. And then the, in the next phase they will start to die. So this phase is actually beneficial to count the total number of maximum cells that can grow in a particular media or in our culture. Now if the culture plate is larger, obviously the number of cells will be larger, but that depends on the size of the culture plate basically. Uh, so now, uh, here the saturation density is a term uh, which implies the density of the cells after which they will not grow further. So this is just a basic term and the explanation is very simple. The density after which the cells will not grow further because of contact inhibition as I mentioned earlier. That contact inhibition is due to lack of space. Cells come in contact and as a result they cannot grow. So the growth stops. Remember one thing, the cells don't die here. They just stop the growth of their cells. So this is the situation phase where no more growth will take place and maximum number of cells are present here. No growth, remember. So here we have our saturation phase. Now the last phase is the death phase. So in this phase what happens is the cells have utilized by now all the nutrients that you have provided in the media. So it is very obvious that you can't add media after in the same culture plate after the cells have grown because they will destroy the cells in the media. So we apply the media along with the nutrients only once. Then we inoculate them with the preferred cells and then the cells start to go and we can't add further uh, nutrients into the solid media. So the stage is reached where they have gone on to cover the whole media along with their cells. So the multiplication rate has, been, has reached the maximum. Then we reach the situation point where uh, no more growth takes place. What happens after that is since they have utilized all their nutrients, uh, they will start to find a deficit of it. And as a result, since no nutrients, the cells will begin to die. Another method of the death is the contact inhibition. There is no space, so the cell death 
will be very prominent in this case. Cells, there may be another case here taking place that some cells will still grow as some cells are dying. So some cells death. The cell death in some cells will ultimately result in the uh, production of space for the other cells. But this won't be much beneficial because they might find space but they will not find the nutrients because they have already been utilized by the previous cells. So what happens is all in all the number of cells start to decrease very much uh, prominently you will find in this case. So what happens when they were totally covered by the cells in the next stages you will find uh, the cell numbers have decreased very uh, considerably in this case. And also, you will also find in the culture media some patches where you will find some colorful uh, substances. These are actually the toxic or secondary metabolites that uh, the cells are producing. Uh, this is because uh, when they are not having enough nutrients for their liking, what they need, uh, they will start producing some secondary meta met metabolites. Now, what is contact inhibition? Contact inhibition is, suppose, here is a cell, it is growing, it is multiplying. So now, if you have uh, a large petri plate, suppose, with the culture media, the cells will grow nicely. So there will be no any uh, external, if there is no external force applied, the cells will grow on their own. Now, what happens, when the cells are completely filled up, the uh, culture plate, the cells will start coming closer to one another. What will happen is this contact of the cells will inhibit them from growth. Because you see when two cells come together, their cell membrane will collage, will form a collage and as a result it will break the cell, cellular property of the cell. And when the cellular property of the cell is broken, it will ultimately lead to the cell death. So this is basically what is the con uh, content inhibition of cells. So this is what will also happen in the death phase. So all in all, in this phase, you will find a rapid decline in the cell number. Now, what we can do is we can express this complete growth kinetics into a single graph. Let's uh, begin to draw the graph. Here is the y-axis, the x-axis. We have our origin out here. So along the y-axis, we'll show the time that has elapsed. And along the y-axis, we'll have the total number of cells or the number of cell generations. So now, at the beginning, what we said is the lag phase where the cell don't really grow in number but the cell size increases. So it seems like as if the cells have uh, increased in number because you won't be able to count the cells by naked eye but you will see the colonies and the colonies will seem bigger but actually they have not grown in size, they have not grown in number but they have grown in size. So in the lag phase, we begin with a tilt, a small tilt of the curve. Now this is the lag phase, this phase where there is no actual uh, increase in the number of cells. Then we move on to our log phase where the exponential growth takes place. So by the term exponential, you can understand what the graph will be like. It will grow up exponentially along the number of cells and the time elapsed. So the elapsion of time will be less, but the growth in the number of cells will be high. Then we reach the saturation level where the total number of uh, cells will stop to grow. There is a halt will be reached. So here what you find is the cells will increase and then they will reach a saturation level. Now this is the level where there are the maximum number of cells in a single culture plate. Followed by that we reach the death phase where there is decrease in the cell number. So finally we will have a rapid decline. It is again an exponential decline in the cell growth. So this is our lag phase followed up by the log phase then 
we reach the stationary phase or the situation phase and then finally we reach the death or the decline phase. So this is all about the graph. You can increase the x-axis a bit further. So this is all about the graph of the growth kinetics. So here we have come to the end of our first video. We hope you liked it and if you really found it beneficial, we hope you press the like button. Subscribe our channel uh, because we will be uploading a lot more videos. This is our first video. Uh, we hope you like it and share if you really enjoyed the video. Thank you.